Hi guys, Jeremy Solt here with Banana Hobby, and what we've got for you is an update to the B1B Lancer. So this has taken a little bit of time for us to get going, but we wanted to make sure it was absolutely right. And so now we are ready to unveil a version two of the B1B Lancer. So let's talk about the differences between the version one and the version two. The difference is that we now have an updated controller that is absolutely awesome. Out of the box, no bypass, no advanced setup required. Your previous gyro on and gyro off are no longer the same. So that is now out the window. We've got brand new programming, we've got brand new functionality, and that is all now in a brand new version two controller. We have them right here and ready to go. This is an upgrade that you can add into your version one and make it into a version two easy peasy. Now, what? how easy is it to do that? So within your manual of your version one, comes with the exact setup on there where you got your all your inputs from your receiver and all your outputs. As long as you follow this to the T, you should be able to swap this out and be able to run it. And so like I said, the biggest thing in there is that you're no longer going to have to do any kind of the bypass or the advanced setup that we have within the manual okay so now what you're going to do is you're absolutely going to run from out of the outputs or uh, of the controller or inputs i mean from uh, to your receiver so you are going to utilize every one of those seven spots uh, eight if you're going to use thrust reversing so we absolutely trust this new controller it's absolutely fantastic we wanted to make it as good as we could and we've ran this thing through the ringer, and now the airplane is absolutely solid. Now, biggest difference, like I was saying, is, is that the gyro works like it should. And the other gyro, we're not saying was bad. We're just saying that it didn't have the feel that we wanted in the airplane. And that's where the advanced setup had to come in. And so now, what you've got is you've got the abilities to use your trims, sub trim expo rates gains any of that kind of stuff and then the gyro is an auto setup uh, gyro so you don't need to do any gains to it you don't need any of that because that is pre-programmed and it works awesome and so over 100 flights on this controller in uh multiple airplanes on there and it has been a solid solid update to this b1 so Thank you, XY, on there. Thank you for listening to us on there and, and taking our input and your guys' input, and we've made this better. So now, the second update on this uh, on the airplane is now we have updated wing connections. I know this was a big concern for a lot of people, even though it really was not an issue. So now, uh, you've got an updated area on the sides here. Triangle supports that actually structure this just a little bit more. But again, you know, if you're going to make it into an issue to where you're going to potentially break this off, that's probably caused by a crash or an incident or hangar rash or transport or something like that. But again, we listened to your guys' input. We wanted to update this. And so now we have. So in corporate cooperation with XFly, this is your new setup. So Big question that people are going to be asking, and I know it right now, is do you need those metal supports on here? The answer is no. Those were intended to be a repair option. And with this updated section on there, you should not even need to use those. But if you ever do break one off, yeah, you could probably put that on there for a repair option. But it shouldn't be necessary because now you got even more plastic on here to support that. Now, what we hope doesn't happen is that this doesn't break and now you start having wing sweep mechanisms but again the airplane throughout all of our testing and all of our flights we still have yet to break any of the originals off but because you guys had concerns it has now been updated and so this is now part of the version two so now what do i mean by version two if you are to buy a B1B Lancer as of today and later, your airplane will be a version two setup on there. And what it comes with is it comes with your updated wings and it comes with the 
new version 2 controller already installed. So you don't need to do anything except for plug your receiver in. Whatever receiver you choose, you plug it in. Make sure your gyro is turned on. And we're going to open this up so you can see. There's a switch on here. So on the back of the controller, there is an on switch and an off switch. Off is outward, on is inward. Make sure that you have it, uh, the airplane not plugged in when you switch that, and then you plug in your airplane and then it will be respective on there. So it has everything you need to on this, this controller now. Now, like I was saying, the internal gyro on this airplane is awesome. You will love it. Okay. So what does that mean in regards to a receiver? That means you don't need an AS3X. You can just use a standard receiver without any stabilization. Plug it into your input connections on the airplane and set up your rates, set up your travels, all that stuff like normal. But, uh, now you're going to use the internal gyro that's that's super awesome. So what we notice is that the old gyro, it required a lot more thumb control to be able to do that. You couldn't use your gains. You couldn't use expo. You couldn't do any of those settings. But now this one, there are no limitations on your surfaces. Everything is free flowing. Like we as advanced pilots know we get to choose exactly how much we want, how much and when, and it doesn't get affected by anything. Uh, the gyro on there is only a stabilization gyro. It doesn't have auto, auto uh, level. It doesn't have heading hold. It is literally only stabilization, but it is awesome. It's the right tuning for the fastest that you can get. You're not getting oscillation, but yet it's slow. You have control, and the airplane is fantastic. So, again, an awesome update to this airplane, all brought to you by XFly in cooperation with Banana Hobby. and so. Without that, uh, without that uh, update, uh, if, you, if you have a version one, again, you can update by buying your wings uh, and upgrade your wings. You can also get your updated controller through Banana Hobby. But I wanted to make sure you have one more thing uh, to note on there. Uh, when you buy your wing, you will need to also get a, uh, a, a package of uh, decals. And the reason why you're going to need the decals is, one, you're going to need all the walk emblems, your stars and bars for the top of the wings to make it match your wings you're taking off. But you're also going to need these gray strips for the bottom portion of the wings to cover your servos. Okay. And so that's why you're going to need to get one of these kits. So, again, they are also available at bananahobby.com uh, and good to go on there. And you'll just transfer all of your electronics one side uh, over and, and in. And then all you'll do is you'll unscrew your surface to your overwing fairings. You pop your uh, wing pivot out. You'll undo your screw for your uh, your wing sweep, your connections. Swap it out. Put it back on. Reset everything and make sure everything's aligned. And there you go. You've got a version two airplane that easy. Wing sweeps or sorry, wing change, new controller, and you're good to go. And so again. I'll do a video here shortly showing an actual replacement of the controller, and I'll show you the replacement of the wings. But again, we have ran this through the ringer. We've got, like I said, over 100 flights on different B1s comp uh, all combined. Uh, we have had a few non-banana hobby pilots also testing these. And once this is out, I hope that they get on here and comment to the attestment of how awesome this is. And uh, again, from a non-associated banana hobby uh, pilot, uh, we've got several of them out there running these, and so far they're loving it. And so without putting words into their mouth, I hope they comment. But again, I'm Jeremy Salt. You can find these new products and new upgrades for your B1B at bananahobby.com. And thanks for watching.